Hello everyone, it's Joel from The Fun Pimps and I'm here today to show you a few things. This is a new POI, actually it's a new bomb shelter that um, Christian Hunick has made. He's our, my nephew, he's our newest level designer and he's doing some pretty awesome work already. I'll give you guys a tour. Got some living space over here. And here's a kitchen. This is the armory. All kinds of good loot you guys can get in here. And this is kind of like a power room. And some living quarters in here. Locker room, looks like a restroom. Should be a pretty cool POI. I'm not going to show you the above part, I'll let you find it for yourself because that would give it away. But it should be pretty cool when you stumble across it. Um, I don't know what's wrong with these TVs? They're a little shiny. You need to fix that. So, other than that, this is looking pretty cool in my book. Another thing we've added is a new player journal. You open up your inventory and click on the pen icon. And this is a journal. And what this does right now is every time you get like a, an event or belt message, it's going to show you in detail, you know, what that message was. So you can kind of go back and if you miss something because you're in a hurry or whatever reason, you can go back at night while you're doing stuff at your base and kind of read all this stuff. So it kind of tells you all the details about how to do things. And then later on, we want to make it so that you can actually write your own notes and stuff in here too. But the first version just has all these different events in it. And the big surprise this week is something I'm really, really excited about. And I know a lot of players have been excited about this too. It just kind of happened, um, you know, I put a task in for some of the assets that I would need to do this feature. And it just showed up, um, you know, like Thursday and I was like super busy with the console uh, launch this week. But, you know, I made some time for it and I, and I implemented some of the stuff. And what it is, is UMA Zombies. As you can see, we put in sleepers. I mean, they're not like the full blown sleepers that we have planned, but um, it's kind of like the first iteration of them. When zombies spawn, um, they will spawn from a sleeping position. So, this is just a little bit of work, uh, kind of laying some track for the upcoming sleeper feature where zombies will be found sleeping inside of houses and they won't really wake up until you get pretty close to them, which will make clearing out a nest of zombies pretty interesting. So this is a UMA soldier zombie. And what's cool about him is, is he's wearing full Kevlar armor. He was like a soldier who got infected and turned. And he's going to have, uh, you know, he's going to drop military gun parts and military clothing so you want to get the best armor in the game probably the best way to do it is to find one of these guys and uh, take him on so he had an AK-47 schematic and military fiber So let's see what the next one might have. So he had a sniper rifle stock and some more military fiber. But, you know, I killed a few of these and I, you know, I've got military gloves and whatnot, military vest, Kevlar. 
So you're going to get some great loot from these guys, and they're going to be hard to kill because they have Kevlar. And I'm really excited about it because, you know, I can design any kind of zombie I want using our existing UMA assets. So, you know, whatever the players have, you know, I can use to add new zombies. Like, I always like the fat lady from Dawn of the Dead, which was actually played by a male actor, if any of you know your trivia. But was, he was made up to look like a lady. It was very scary and... And so I kind of just playing around. I put this together in a few minutes. Where is it? Uh, right here. So kind of remind me of the lady from uh, Dawn of the Dead, which was pretty scary. I didn't have a whole lot of time putting this together. Normally it takes our artists, you know, several weeks to put together a new zombie and I was able to build this in just a few minutes using our UMA character creation system. So, pretty cool stuff. I need to set her to have a female voice yet. I just tossed her in there. So, Anyway, that shows the potential of, um, you know, what UMA Zombies has to offer. Um, I'm hoping, you know, we can put in Postman and they'll be carrying around uh, books and lots of paper so you can make more shotgun shells, you know, and just all kinds of unique zombies to the game, you know. it's They're mostly going to be, you know, probably used for bosses, you know, because we don't want to increase the texture memory too much because every time you have one spawned, you know, it, it increases the memory a little bit. But, you know, if we use them sparingly, we can add a lot of variety to the game. And it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys next week.